Okay, everyone ready to start? Um, so welcome to week six, I think we're on now, um, Lockdown Ladies. Um, this week's theme um, is hand defences. So last week we did head defences, um, slips and rolls. And this week we're going to look at a couple of different hand defences. So we'll cover them when we get to the technique. Um, but just to warm up, um, we're going to do a bit of a warm up circuit. So we've got six exercises, um, a mixture of skipping moves. Um, and body exercises. So um, for the first round, um, we're going to go for 30 seconds and then just have a little rest while I show you the next move. Um, and then second round, you're just going to go all the way through um, for three minutes. So it'll be six, six exercises, 30 seconds each. Um, so first exercise, I'll just show you it first. Um, just the invisible skip. Um, so imagine I was skipping rope and you just jump in side to side. Okay, so we're going to go for 30 seconds. Ready? Let's go. So just imagine you're rotating the skipping rope and you're jumping up each time the rope comes over. So similar to what you did with your punches, your elbow should be in close to your body. So if you had your um, pieces of paper under your arms, they shouldn't be dropping. So all the movement comes from your wrists when you're skipping. Okay, and hold it there. Next move is lumberjacks. So that's um, clapping under your opposite leg and you're kind of hopping into the clap. So I'll show you from the side, keeping your back straight and hopping under. So you're not leaning down, keeping your back straight. Okay, 30 seconds, let's go. So you should be aiming to make a clean clap noise under your legs. So really focus on keeping your back straight, not leaning forward. Okay, and relax. Next one, we're going back to skipping. So it's going to be five single legs. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So just keep alternating between the two. Okay, ready? Let's go. It's much easier doing these with an invisible rope. You don't get the whip marks. Try and bounce on your toes rather than going um, completely flat on your feet. So stay on your toes. Okay, I'm relaxed. Next one, um, shoulder rotators with a heel lift. So you're just rotating, making circles and lifting your heels. So we'll show you from the side. Just squeeze in at the top, each side and step in. Okay, so ready? Three, two, one, go. So try and rotate your hands in small, neat circles as fast as you can. So your arms should be completely straight and then parallel to the floor. You have to coordinate between lifting your heels and spinning your hands at the same time. So try not to flap your arms, keep them going in circles. Okay, relax, next one is a high knee skip. So as fast as you can, like a sprint. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. So you're trying to get your knees parallel to your hips. Okay, 10 more seconds, speed it up as you can. Okay, and relax, final move is a six punch combo. So using all the punches, so you can go jab, cross, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Okay, and just keep repeating that. So on the spot, you're not moving your feet, but you're just rotating everything into the shots. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, let's go, jab, cross, Hook, hook, upper, upper. Just keep that going. Remember all the movement of your whole body. So you're rotating your shoulders, twisting your hips, bending your knees. So your feet should be kind of spinning on the floor as you throw in the different shots.
Okay, relax. Okay, now we're going to do those six movements again, but no break in between. So I'll just tell you when to change to the next one. Okay, so we've got five seconds. Take a deep breath, and then we're going to start with the invisible skip. Okay, three, two, one, go. So just the normal skip, side to side. When it gets to the end of this 30 seconds, we're going straight into the lumber jacks, clapping under your legs. Really push off on your toes. Give yourself a bit of elevation. Okay, so changing to lumber jacks in three, two, one, change. So try and bring your arms right up in between each clap, like a big flappy bird. Remember, keep your back straight so you're not leaning forward, keeping your back nice and straight and you're bringing your leg up rather than bringing your arms down. Okay, and single leg, five each side, let's go. Remember, you're just bouncing on your toes, not putting your whole foot down. And try and keep your arms rotating at the same pace as you hop. Okay, three, two, one, T-shaped rotations. Lifting your heels up to the top. Remember, kind of hold it, push it to the end as far as you can lift your heel and rotate in those circles at the same time. Okay, we've got five seconds and then into the high knee fast skip. Ready, three, two, one, go. Okay, 15 seconds, speed it up. Get those knees a little bit higher. Okay, five seconds and then straight into the combo, six punch combo in three, two, one, go. Jab, cross, hook, hook, upper, upper. Keep that going, find your rhythm. Remember, use the momentum from the previous shot to power up the next one. So you kind of go in like a pendulum side to side, throwing each shot. Okay, last five seconds, power them up. Okay, I'm relaxed. Have a nice and warm. Grab yourself a quick drink before we do the technique. Sorry about Milo there. I saw him running across the back a couple of times. He just likes the attention. Okay, so technique this week, hand defences. So we've got a few different ones we're going to do. We're going to run through them quite quickly because you don't need to know all the, the finer details. So um, first one we're going to look at is a parry. So if everyone can get in your stance, so a nice strong base, guard up by your chin. The parry is if someone's throwing a jab at your face. So remember how you throw the jab. So if one of them's coming at your face, you parry it away, okay? So your front hand, so open your hand slightly and you're just parrying it away. So it's like a, a rotation of the body, like you do for your shots, but you're just using the strength of your body to power it down. So imagine the punch is coming at your face and you're just knocking it out of the way. So just do that. So it's just a really short, sharp movement, engage your core, as you twist, so your whole body is moving together to knock that shot away. Okay, if you were to just do that, the punch would probably come through because it wouldn't be strong enough, so you're using your whole body to stop that movement. Okay, just to add a punch onto the back of that, so if you parried a shot, you might throw a backhand to follow. So parry, backhand. So just try that together. So you're knocking the shot down and then counter with the backhand. So try and do it as one movement, so parry, punch, kind of in the same motion. 
So you're knocking the punch down, clearing a path to throw your shot back. Okay, good. So that's second hand defense is a block. So using the backhand, um, you're literally just turning it, turning your, imagine you had a glove on, turning it inward and engaging your whole body to stop there. Okay. So you're just turning in. So just bring your back knee in. And as you come down, it's like you're locking your body into tension. So block. So imagine someone's throwing a backhand at you. You want to stop it. So just hold it there. Test yourself. Is that strong? Okay, so you need to be holding your whole body tense to hold a strong blocking position. Okay, what we might do off the back of this is block and then jab back over the top. So try that together. So block, jab, block, jab. So you like lock down and then jab over the top. Okay, good work. Next one, arm blocks. So imagine the hooks that we throw, so they're coming from the side. Um, an arm block is to normally defend against the hook. So if someone's throwing a hook at you, lift your arm up side to side. So it's like you're making a triangle with your, um, your elbow and locking it up to defend your face. So just try them side to side. So you're twisting and locking down. So holding that tight to stop anything that's coming at you. Okay, so that's the three blocks, um, three hand defenses, sorry, parry and blocks. Now we're gonna add it together into a little drill. So first one we're gonna do is put those three moves together. So parry, we're gonna go parry, block, arm block, arm block. So we're gonna do it in one motion together and repeat that, okay? So start slowly, so parry, block, arm block, arm block. So just do that together. And then once you've got the hang of it, speed it up and try and do it in a quicker motion. So parry block. So again, it's that side to side motion using your whole body. It also doubles up. It's quite a good dance move when we're finally allowed to go out again. Okay, just do a couple more. Okay, and relax. Okay, now we're going to add the punches into there. So we're going to go jab, cross, parry, block. So do that together. So you're defending the shots that you throw in. So jab, cross, and then parry, block. So if you notice when you're throwing the jab, cross, and then doing the parry, block, it's similar movement of the body. It's just your arms at the end that are doing different things. So it's, they're all full body movement. Okay, and relax. Final one we're gonna do is two hooks, two arm blocks. So you throw in hook, hook, and then you defend in arm block, arm block. So those are the defenses for the shots that you throw in. So try that all together, so hook, hook, Arm block, arm block. So there should be even more rotation in these ones because you're rotating your body right round into the hook and then defending side to side. And we're going to go for three more. Okay, and relax. Okay, so that's the technique. So we've done parry, blocks, and arm blocks. So we might feature some of them in the circuit that we're gonna do next. So um, circuit, you know how it goes. Three moves, minute of each, um, and then we're gonna do two three minute rounds um, back to back with those moves. So first move, um, we're gonna go um, jab, cross, parry, which we've just done, um, and then two crisscross squats. So I'll show you what that looks like. So jab, cross, parry, crisscross into a squat, crisscross. Okay, so jab, cross, parry, crisscross, crisscross. Okay, you're just gonna keep that going for one minute. If you can't do the crisscross, so if you've got dodgy knees, 
you can just squat instead. Or if you start with the crisscross and you're struggling, just change it to a squat. Okay, so we're gonna go for one minute. Just set my timer. Okay, ready? Let's go. So gab cross, parry, crisscross, crisscross. Make sure you're keeping your back straight on the squat. So really push your bum out at the bottom of the crisscross. Okay, halfway. Okay, last 20 seconds. Remember your technique and your jab cross as well, so you're still getting that full shoulder rotation. Okay, last five seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, second move, we're going down to the floor. We're gonna do a push up to a frog leap. Okay, so I'm gonna give you two versions of this for each move. So the full version, um, in press up position, gonna press up and then jump your legs forward into frog position, back down. Okay, so press up, jump back, press up, okay. Um, alternative for that, for the press ups, if you're not comfortable doing full ones, you can go onto your knees and instead of doing the jump up, you can step two, three, four. So this is the alternate version. Knees, step, two, three, four. Okay, so it's fine to start with a full one and if you're struggling, drop down to your knees and step, whatever you're comfortable with. Okay, so we're gonna go for one minute. Everyone on the floor in position. See too many of you standing up. <laughs> okay, ready? Let's go, so press up, frog leap, and back. Just jump as far forward as you can. Don't worry about getting in a full frog position. So it's quite hard. Okay, keep going. You've only got 20 seconds left. Okay, really focus on your breathing through this because it's quite a challenging move. Okay, last 10 seconds coming up. Okay, the final move's a bit more technique focused so you can get your breath back. Ready, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, final move of the circuit. This is in your control. So we've done a lot of punches now and movement, so I'm giving you a bit of uh, control over what you do. So the only criteria, you have to do two steps followed by two punches continuously for one minute. So options, so starting your stance, you can go forward, back, left, right. So any direction for your two steps and then any two punches. So using your jab, cross, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut, but you can mix them in any way that you want, okay? So easy ones. To start, you can stick with the straight shots, hooks together, uppercuts together for your two shots, but then just experiment so you can try a jab uppercut or hook backhand, just whatever you want. Two steps, two punches, okay? I'm gonna do it along, so if you wanna follow me, you can, or you can just make up your own, okay? So we're going for one minute, ready? In your stance, so always come back to your stance and guard between your two shots and two punch, um, two steps, two punches, ready? Go, so two steps, Two punches. So there can be any punch, any direction. It will look like proper boxers now. It's freestyling. And your two steps don't need to be in the same direction. So you can take one forward, one to the side. You can throw two of the same. So you can do two jabs. It doesn't have to be two different shots. So just keep moving the whole time. OK, 
Okay, 20 seconds to go. You really put the power into the shots. It is still part of the circuit, so you need to be pushing yourself. Last 10 seconds. Okay, and relax. Okay, some really good moves there. Um, good to see you using these techniques, well done. So we're gonna do that all the way through. Um, so starting with the jab cross, parry, crisscross, then into the push-up frogs, and then the punches at the end. Okay, so, so everyone can get in position. Um, in your stance and guard, we're starting with the jab cross, parry. I'm just gonna set my three minute timer. Ready, three, two, one, go. Jab, cross, parry, crisscross, crisscross. So really push yourself in this squat, get as low as you can. And really stick that bum out to the back. And also when you're going down, try and keep your hands up in your guard position. So you're ready to go straight into the punch when you get back up. Okay, halfway. Okay, you got 20 seconds to go. Keep pushing. Nice squats, ladies. Really good. Keep those hands up by your chin. Elbows in, remember, no chicken wings. We'll see a few elbows in the air. Okay, last five seconds, and then you're straight down on the floor into the press up frog leap. Ready? Three, two, one. Down you go. So press up, jump, back, press up, jump, back. Remember the alternate, you can drop onto your knees and step if you need, that's absolutely fine. Okay, keep going, you're over halfway. Okay, you've got just over 20 seconds to go. Really focus on your breathing. Deep breaths in through your nose and exhale on the effort. So as you're pushing down into the press up, push your breath out. Okay, last 10 seconds to go. See how many you can squeeze in. And then you're straight up into your two steps, two shots. Okay, ready in three, two, one, up you get. Two steps, two punches. Any direction, any punch. So experiment now, try different combinations. Any two shots that you've learned. Really bend your knees and twist into the shots. Okay, 30 seconds left. Okay, for the last 10 seconds, we're gonna stand on the spot and punch, jab, cross as fast as we can, okay? I'll let you know when, just to get that extra bit of burn at the end. Okay, so three, two, one, in squat position, jab, cross, fast as you can, let's go. Rotate your shoulders, punching out in front as hard as you can. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, you've got 30 seconds rest, then we're gonna do that once more through. So grab a quick drink. I'm not as hot as last week. My um, skeleton outfit was not very breathable. So I'm uh, enjoying having my skin out, or having my skin back. Okay, go in in five seconds, back in position, starting with the jab cross parry. Ready, three, two, one, go, jab, cross, parry, crisscross, crisscross. Okay, halfway, 30 seconds left. This is the last time you're gonna be doing this move. 
and really push that squat to the max. Get as low as you can, keeping your back nice and straight. Keep those hands by your chin in between. You can see some dropping. Okay, last 10 seconds, and then straight down to the floor for press ups and frog loops. You ready? In three, two, one, down you go. Press up, jump forward. This is the last time you're going to have to do these. I don't know about you, but I'll be happy about that. Okay, remember, if you need to, drop to your knees and step it out as well. Okay, keep going. 20 seconds to go. Oh, sorry, 25 seconds to go. I can't read. <laughs> okay, now 20 seconds to go. Really push. Push up from that press up and drive your legs forward into the jump. Doing really well. Keep it up. Last 10 seconds and then into your six, um, your two steps, two punches. Ready? In three, two, one. Up you get. Two steps, two punches. This is the last bit of the circuit. So really push yourself, power into the punch and drive into the steps as well. So try different punches this time to what you did last time. So one of the most common shots in boxing is a double jab. So just two jabs out together. Okay, so this one we're going to do 20 seconds of the hard shots at the end. Okay, ready? Let's go. Squat position, jab cross, as fast as you can. Okay, this is the last bit of the circuit. So push yourself for speed. Get your shoulders rotating. So if you look how much my shoulders are twisting, that's what I want you to do. Okay, I'm relaxed. Okay, well done, that's the circuit. Have a quick drink and then we've got a core finisher. Okay, so with a core finisher, we've got three moves. We're gonna do 30 seconds of each. I'm gonna do two rounds. I practiced this session the other day and I really enjoyed the core circuit. So I made up some moves and they're really good, I think. But you can let me know what you think. So if you've got a soft floor, you're fine. If you need a mat, just pop one down. You're gonna be putting some pressure on your lower back for this, so make sure you've got something soft underneath you. Okay, so we'll do one move at a time, and then second round, we'll go all the way through. So first move is full, um, full leg wipers. So imagine your legs are window wipers. You're gonna hands out to the side, legs up in front. You go in to one side, but keeping your feet six inches off the floor, back to the middle, down to the other side. Okay, so you're not touching the floor at the sides, you're keeping them up, okay? So you anchor yourself down with your arms and you're using your abs to pull your legs side to side. Okay, so if you get down in position, we're gonna go for 30 seconds. Ready, in three, two, one, go. So use your hands to anchor yourself down and then use your abs to pull your legs back up. So hold it at the bottom about six inches off the floor and then coming back to the other side. Okay, last five seconds. Okay, and relax. Okay, next move, you're gonna stay where you are. Um, legs in the air, um, so like a V position. So you're gonna keep your legs up. So your, your bum is off the floor, so it should be your lower back in contact with the mat or the floor. And then you're gonna lift your shoulders up. So all your pressure's on your lower back, arms out straight, and you're just gonna flutter them up and down. Okay, it doesn't look like much, but you'll feel it. Okay, ready? 
Go in a three, two, one, go. So just straight arms and just keep your shoulders up and your bum up and just flop them up and down. Just go as fast as you can. And it should gradually start to give you a bit of a, a burn in your core. Okay, 10 more seconds. So if you're not feeling it, lift your shoulders a bit higher. Okay, and relax. Okay, third move, you're gonna go onto your front. Um, these are um, bear, bear crawl toe touches. So if anyone's done yoga, the kind of bear position, so you're gonna be on all fours um, like this, and then you're gonna to touch opposite hand to opposite foot underneath your body, okay? So you really need to get your balance to do it nice and controlled to start with. Um, so you need to really hold your core for these so you don't fall over. Okay, so we're going for 30 seconds. Ready, let's go. So opposite hand to opposite toe. So make sure you've got your body anchored before you lift your hand and foot. When I first tried these, I fell over quite a lot. Okay, 10 seconds to go. Okay, I'm relaxed. Okay, so that's the three moves. So now we're gonna do it all the way through. Um, 30 seconds back to back. So you're gonna go straight from one to the other. Okay, so get back into the position for the wipers. Then we're going straight into the v sit, and then turn around straight into the bare toe touches. Okay, everyone back in position. Give you a second. Okay, ready? We're going in three, two, one, go, so leg wipers, side to side, keeping them six inches off the floor at each side to try not to touch down in between. Okay, 10 more seconds and then straight into the V-sit flutters. Okay, three, Two, one, okay, legs into the middle, arms up. Remember, keep your shoulder blades up as high as you can. While you do this, you'll get more benefit from it. Oh. Okay, halfway, 15 more seconds. I've had to turn my head because I'm sweating too much and my earpiece is falling out. <laughs> okay, last five seconds. And then straight over into the bare crawl toe touches. Ready? And go. Rotate straight away. Okay, this is the last 30 seconds. Push yourself as fast as you can without falling over. Last 10 seconds. Hold that core nice and tight. Okay, three, two, one, Whew. and relax. Whew. I find them really hard, them bare ones. Okay, everyone okay?